that? What happened? I hit a big hole. Oh, shit. We have taken a little bit of a break because uh, the whole family was sick. We're still sort of flushing out a bunch of nasty crap. But I can confirm it was not COVID. I had a test done. Ah. <laughs> That's horrible. Okay. Ah. Thank you, I guess. Not COVID. Check out my lady right now. I'm so proud. Oh man, have you ever witnessed anything hotter than than that right there. You got that pouty face. You had that the whole time. She likes using the razor, but look at this thing. It's a it's an abomination. I don't want it to look like this all the time. It'll eventually just wear it down and make it look like shit if we're just constantly leaving it muddy. But also, like I never want to work on it because it just looks so haggard. She's gonna use the, the tractor for tractor stuff. That skid steer has been incredibly useful. And those steel tracks, man, I don't even think we'd be able to put the thing to work without those steel tracks. Uh, but they are brutal on the grass, really bad. It's like day three working on these tires. I've had a hell of a time trying to get them mounted. Uh, a couple of the boxes had holes in them from shipping, and I think an entire bag of hardware slipped out. I went to the hardware store today. They didn't have any nuts or bolts in there. I went to inflate them. I pulled my air compressor out. I kicked it on. Oh, you got a lighter. Good. Kicked it on, and I noticed all this air rushing by, and some little piece on my air compressor blew out. And so I've been trying to use this little tiny thing, and. It doesn't really like it. It can't seem to go over 25 PSI, and uh, you kind of need to get up there high in the PSI to get the beads to sort of snap in. Uh, I've got them up as high as the pump will go, and then just sitting there, they seem to be slowly seating themselves. So they're seated now. It's not down here. I'm trying to find the sweeper sweep. The, the sweeper sweep? The pan. The sweeper sweep. It should be around here. She found it. The sweeper sweep. The sweeper sweep. Sweep, 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 sweep. Sweet sweeping sweeper. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount these up anyways and then kind of slowly ride them around and hopefully that seats those beads all the way. They're just a little slightly off. Nuke it. There she goes. Ha -ha! Look how fast it could have gone up. Oh my god. Boom, ah! your house is gone. Dude. Man, that looks good. Just looks so much more well balanced. Like those those little thirties 
or whatever these are. These are 30s and these were bigger than like the industry standard when this came out. But still, these are 32 inch BFG KM3 mud terrain tires. And they're the exact same ones that we put on the X3. When Tyler and I put them on the X3, we did time trials and we discovered that the X3 was way faster while maneuvering through obstacles. Basically, it got so much more traction, you were able to just maneuver the thing through the trails so much better, so much faster. But the top speed did go down a little bit. And uh, some of that could be, uh, a lot of that's just based off the weight and then also the dimension of the tire is bigger and so it throws off your speedometer. And I don't know what the top speed was. We measured by, um, by time trials up a hill three times. It was, it, was a good, it was a good experiment. We might end up doing this, that with this thing, but man, does that look so much better. I never understood why the whole car was black and red, but then they put gray wheels on it. They just didn't, they didn't suit the car. Now it just looks, it looks so much better with those icon alloys. Woo! will settle a little bit um, and so the, the car won't look so lifted but it did lift it about two inches two inch taller tires two inches of more ground clearance a little bit taller look and feel I like it welcome back it's a brand new day and there's one more piece to this puzzle hey, hey! It's bacon cheeseburger with Ooh. onions. Yeah. Oh, I had so to get good. you the bacon. Know how much you love the meat. Is that it? That's the old truck. <laughs> they look so similar. It's the exact that's, same color. That's not the old truck. That's not the old <laughs> No, I was, I was like, you didn't have this, the vents on your old truck, and it looks so tall. It's fucking huge. Oh. Can I can I show like a little sneaky peeky? Just a sneaky peek or no? Let's let's mm. chat about it. I don't know. Oh yet. man. Let's chat about it. Man, you guys gotta get on the TS Gear channel. Oh man, oh dude, it's huge. Oh my gosh. It's so much bigger than I thought. That's what she said. <laughs> so sick, so yeah. sick. There goes. Got it. Yahtzee. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> like cushioned with it. It's good. It's good. Good technique. You're gonna hit yourself right in the junk. <laughs> it comes loose. Oh! It worked. It worked. Just gonna jack it right off. <laughs> Just right off of there. It's like a shake weight. How did he get it on? Plungered it on. <laughs> Spin and plunge. Like a plumber. Oh, that there it is. There it went. There. That's in. Perfect. So much easier than the Tacoma. Yeah. I've never even seen that. It's enormous. What about an adapter? I, yeah, I have to do an adapter. Yeah, it's that... got a two and a half adapter in it right now, but all the hitches are two inch hitches. Oh yeah. Like all of my other. Damn. Damn. Beefy. That truck's huge. It's massive. It looks so good. Oh man, I can't wait for them to see. Can we go, just look at it again.
What happened? I hit a big hole. Took it like a champ though. Oh shit. Shit. Dead. Dude, check out this hole the razor just fell in. That thing is deep. You see it just plowed? It skipped right over it. Hit that little spot. It must be where the bumper hit. <laughs> yeah, you see that's where the tire hit there. Took it like a champ. Uh, Des and I were out here just a little bit ago riding and I hit this hole and I grabbed the camera to show you guys and the battery died. And so uh, I edited the video and it just didn't really seem complete. But yeah, uh, that is the hole. Look at this thing. It's a, that's a big one. Razor took it like a champ. I'm out here in the Can-Am today and uh, still kind of breaking it in after our rebuild. Hopefully you guys saw the complete rebuild video and the homecoming video. Um, there's a whole series on that if you like Can-Ams. Uh, we rebuilt that one entirely from the ground up after we totaled it. And uh, yeah, it's working really, really good now. It has a stage three tune from Evo on it. And uh, I'll be honest, it scares me a little bit. It's a little, she's mean, she's aggressive. If you drop your front end of your razor into a knee deep hole while rocking some 30 inch BFG tires, I think the tires really saved that a little bit, gave it a little bit more clearance. Otherwise it could have been really bad, but uh, it, it wasn't, it took it like a champ. Everything's fine. It drove home straight. It's all good to go. So. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it Make sure you hit that thumbs up button and because uh, it does help it really does and I know that uh, I Haven't been asking you guys to do that and I don't really like to but it's important to remind you guys so Because it makes a difference. Oh my gosh. I've had the hardest time finishing that video I don't know if you could see it in my eyes when I was trying to do that sign off yesterday But I had to shit so bad <laughs> <laughs> like, I like wrapped it up really fast, then took a dump in the woods. I totally forgot to do the whole slogan, the whole thing. So uh, yeah, that's it for today's video. Whatever day I filmed that. Get some work done this week, but don't forget to live. Oh, I have a mustache again. Yeah, can't figure out if I like it or not. Bye. <laughs>